Welcome back everyone, today we are going to make some white phosphorus on a micro scale. To do this you will need red phosphorus, a q-tip, small glass tube, a spatula and some sort of bundle burner. White phosphorus, unlike red phosphorus, is highly toxic. Therefore you shouldn't try this experiment at home. We start off by taking out some of our red phosphorus doesn't have to be too much red phosphorus and we put it into our tube. You can see this is really a small amount of phosphorus. We don't need more. Then you take a q-tip and insert it into the test tube. The q-tip should be about two centimeters above the red phosphorus. Before you start, you put on some gloves and maybe also work in a fume hood or wear a respirator. Light up your Bunsen burner. And after your Bunsen burner is lit, take your test tube and hold it into the flame. Soon after heating, your tube will fill up with yellow smoke and this smoke will settle on the wall of your test tube. My test tube unfortunately decided to crack and spew smoke everywhere. You should now be able to see a somewhat yellow precipitate that has settled on our Q-tip. This is white phosphorus and it is highly toxic and flammable. For the demonstration, I'm now going to pull out our q-tip and keep in mind I let the test tube cool down to room temperature before I I'm do before doing this so let's start you can see the q-tip immediately lit up and produced a lot of white smoke do not breathe this in and because all of this was so fun it seemed like there was a bit more of white phosphorus so I put in a second q-tip and let's light it up. This one took a little more time to light up. If you liked this video feel free to give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to see more experiments with phosphorus in the future spam them down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Until then I wish all of you a nice day. Bye.